Dear friends, I am M. A. Mustafa. Welcome back to Warner Pixels. In today's video, I will show you how to repair blurred images on LED TV. I am turning on the TV to show you the problem. Then I will try to explain why this kind of problem occurs and how to solve it. Dear friends, you can see the condition of the picture. So stay with me for a while. Note that this is the number of this panel. Now note VGA is M27 volts, then VGA is about 30 volts, V of or VGL minus 7.9 volts, VCOM voltage 6.7 volts. Okay, dear friends, if the VCOM voltage drop, the images can be blurred like this. But we observe that the VCOM voltage is ok. So now we can check gamma voltage. This is the distribution circuit of gamma voltages. In this circuit, the name of this test point is GREF or gamma reference. This gamma reference voltage supply is taken from the DC to DC converter circuit. From DC to DC converter circuit about 14 volts are supplied to the gamma distribution circuit. Note that the gamma 1 voltage is highest on this panel. Then the voltage of gamma 2 will be about 1.5 volts less than that of gamma 1. In this way the voltage of gamma 3 will be a little less. In the same way as the voltage decrease the gamma 14 will be about 1 volt. Ok, what's now? A structure of gamma voltage distribution circuit. This circuit is very simple. I will explain it to you by drawing the circuit exactly. In this gamma circuit, there are 15 resistors connected in series. And one end of the resistors is connected to the ground. And the other end is connected to the GREF. Moreover, from the junction of each series, one filter capacitor is connected to the ground in this way. Now look, the voltage of gamma 1 comes out from here. This is gamma 1 and this is gamma 2. Thus, 14 type of voltage are distributed in the gamma circuit of source cop. This is GREF or gamma reference voltage supply terminal. From DC to DC circuit, gamma reference voltage is supplied. Ok? Now, try to understand. This is the source cop. Different types of gamma voltages are used in the source cop circuit to control the gain of the video signal. That is why gamma voltages are supplied to this cop. Ok? Now, look at the connections practically. Here, Gamma 1 is directly connected to the source cop. Gamma 2 is similarly connected to the source cop. In the same way, Gamma 1 to 7 is connected here. And Gamma 8 to 14 is connected to this side. Now, we realize that there is a short circuit in the cop. Then, we have to cut from here. And if the short circuit is on this side, then it has be cut to be here. So now we will find out where the problem actually happened. Gamma reference 14.4 volts. Gamma 1 14 volts. Gamma 2 13 volts. Gamma 3 8.85 volts. Gamma 4 7.4 volts. Gamma 5 5.8 volts. Gamma 6 2.5 volts. The voltage here is very low. Gamma 7 very low voltage. Gamma 8 low voltage here too. Gamma 9 0 volt. So dear friends we found a fault in the circuit here. So follow here. This capacitor of gamma 9 is connected to ground. So, let's measure here to see if there is a short circuit or not. This is gamma 9, just 0.5 ohms from here on the ground. So, let's change the capacitor and see what happens. Dear viewers, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel. Ok, I removed the filter capacitor. Now, let's measure again. 
very nice before it was 0.5 ohms and now it is 835 ohms so now i am connecting a 0.1 microfarad capacitor here okay now i turn on the tv and see what happens gamma 9 6.4 volts very nice now we will watch the picture on tv very very nice dear friends subscribe to the channel to get more videos like comment share please thank you so much